Hey everybody, this is Maxine Taylor with another edition of Move Into the Magic where I interview today's movers and shakers. And my guest today is awesome. For those of you who put on classes, who do webinars and seminars, if you do any public speaking, you are going to want to listen very, very closely to my dear friend, Jackie Lappin. Jackie is a leader in helping transformational leaders, authors, practitioners, speakers, and messengers connect with their next followers around the globe. I'll bet that got your attention. It got mine. For the past 10 years, our internationally acclaimed conscious companies have been providing PR campaigns, radio media tours, and speaking engagements to support the growth and revenue of change makers. And that means you. So won't you meet my friend, Jackie Lappin. Hey, Jackie, welcome to Move Into the Magic, honey. I'm just so delighted to be here, Maxine. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm excited about uh, uh, helping out some of the folks that are li that are viewers here and uh, getting them further embedded into the speaking world. Oh, I'm so thrilled. Well, the reason I invited you was because you said you would like to talk about something that absolutely grabbed my attention. You said you want to talk about the 12 things a speaker can't afford to be without. You are on, girl. Take it away. Well, thank you so much. You know, when you're going out to uh, engage in building your clientele through speaking, bringing people to you, selling more books, which, and by the way, speaking is the most effective way to sell books person to person, there are certain things that you really need to have, and a lot of people just don't realize these, and they may know some of it, but not all of it. So we're gonna really take a good hard look here at some of the key things. The first and the foremost is a benefit-driven one sheet. Now a one sheet is exactly what it says, one sheet that you can provide to a speaker booker to impress them so that they want to hire you. Now, the key about a, a, a speaker one sheet is it has certain things in it. It has your bio um, and your credentials. It might also present the various different little presentations that you offer, and even that's a workshop or presentation, and then you know some of the highlights and bullet points. You're going to want to include a great photo of you, and we're going to talk about something else that should be on there in just a minute. But the real important factor about a one sheet is it's really not about you. The, sp the one sheet has to be about what is the audience going to learn, grow, how is it going to change their life, and what action are they going to run out and take after hearing you. So when you create your, your one sheet, it has to be benefit driven for the audience. So you need to frame it in terms of the headlines and the content and your bio about what people are going to experience and learn. So too often people send one sheet and it's all about them. And that's not going to impress the booker. The booker is going to look at it from the standpoint of how is this going to change the lives of the people that I represent? Yes. So keep in mind that is really a critical thing. Um, now, the other factor is testimonials that goes on your one sheets. And we're going to talk more in depth about that in a few minutes. But it needs to be beautifully uh, designed from a graphic standpoint. It needs to uh, be compelling and um, professional. And it's something that you can either email or that you can hand somebody a glossy piece of it. So that's the first thing, the benefit-driven one sheet. Number two, and here's where a lot of people fall down. You need a contemporary website. If you have a website that's 10 years old and the speaker booker, it's the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna go look you up, see something that is so out of date, they are going to wipe you off the list instantaneously. So when I say a contemporary website, it needs to be horizontal in nature with lots of big graphics and um, uh, uh, you know, if images and a minimum amount of words on the homepage 
Uh, you can put more words on the back pages, but your homepage needs to be graphically driven and horizontal. And um, that's going to tell them that you are, you know, you're right in the mainstream of what their audience is going to find exciting and interesting. Along those lines, item number three, photos that aren't 10 years old. Because there is, you, you run the risk of shooting your own credibility and authenticity if you put in your website, on your one sheet, photos of when you were young and beautiful. I mean, you know, we're all still beautiful. But they need to see what you look like right now because that's who's going to follow you. And if you show up in the room looking 10 years older than your photographs, you've already told them that you're not trustworthy. You, you know, you're building trust. If you want people to come to you and be your client, you need to be authentic about what it is that how you are presenting yourself. It's really critical. Okay, so that's really, really an important one. Go out, I know you might be a little bit vain, but go out and get great new photos, and it doesn't mean you cannot touch them up a little bit. Absolutely, but if you've got gray hair, let them see the gray hair. That means, you know, you're wise and, uh, and experienced, so they need to see who you are today. Now, the next critical item, number four, is video. The, one of the things that your speaker booker wants to know is how are you on stage and can you engage the audience? So one of the most important things that you can do is make sure that you have video of you presenting in front of an audience. And you can arrange to do this in a small venue. It doesn't necessarily need to be a giant venue. But it needs to be not done from a cell phone with bad, bad lighting and bad sound. It's got to be professionally done so that they can hear the mic, they can see you clearly in the, in the you know, well lit, and they can see your, you know, how you present and how you engage with the audience. Um, what is not acceptable is just videos of you talking to your community on, uh, you know, on YouTube or something like that. That is a poor substitute for having video of you on stage. So when you go to send your one sheet, you're going to do a cover letter to the, uh, to the, uh, the booker, and it's going to say why you would be a great match for their audience, and here is my speaker one sheet, which you've attached, and by the way, here is some video of me speaking. Now you also want to place this video on your website on a page dedicated to your speaking capabilities. So you, that's a really important thing to have right up front if you can get it. Um, you know, you can hire people to do this. Sometimes you're already speaking at an event where there is somebody already taping. Get some of that and use it. Number five, you need to have a compelling presentation that moves people emotionally and drives them to action. Now, the emotion comes really in two stages. The first is where you engage them with your story and how you are like them and how you have surmounted your obstacles and you want to show them how to do it themselves. So they need to get engaged from an emotional standpoint of your, your, your low point and your high point. So that's the part about telling your, your own story, the hero's journey. That's the first set of the emotions. The other set of the emotion is where you make them feel, oh man, I'm missing that piece. I don't have the solution. She or he has the solution. I really need to get that solution to solve my problem in my life, whatever it may be. You want to move them emotionally to feel like I have to have that because I need that. It's, it's going to solve my, you know, whatever it might be. So there are two steps to that emotion, and the speech needs to have both of those things in it. So keep that in mind when you're constructing your presentation. Now, the sixth thing you need to have is a total of three presentations, adaptable for different audience, including a, uh, a one-hour presentation that can actually be cut down to shorter if you need it, a 90-minute, and a three-hour or two- or three-hour workshop. 
And because you're going to be able to have opportunities to do any or all of those kinds of things. And so you want to use the, the, the shorter presentations can either be just to, you know, either, either if you're getting paid to be on stage where you can't sell from the stage or they're an introduction to get people enrolled in your programs. And that might be a workshop that you're doing or a, a, a mastermind or a coaching program or whatever. So it needs to be able to do that. And then some people are going to say, hey, you know, we have an opportunity. Like, for example, if you go to Unity or Spiritual Living Centers, they have opportunities for you to do workshops. Or if you're involved in a multi-speaker event and you can do a workshop as part of that. You need to have all of those in your repertoire when you're preparing to speak. Now, number seven is the testimonials that we were talking about. Testimonials are vital. Now, here's the key, though. When you're talking to speaker bookers, you don't want just testimonials from your customers, your clients, your coaching students. You need testimonials from people that have actually hired you to speak or brought you in because that's what's really going to be important. They want to know what other people have thought about having you on their stages. For example, one of the things that I find is when you're dealing with Unity, the first thing that they want to know is what is the other Unity minister said about you? So I've, I've had that, I've heard that four times from different unities. So, you know, you really need to, whatever your genre is, they want to know who else has hired you and how well you've spoken before the group. So obviously there are two ways to get testimonials. One is just a written testimonial, which is fantastic and wonderful. But if you can get it in a video standpoint, that's even better because then you can put it on your website. Um, and that could be either a formal with a formal video camera or just even a little, in that case, a little cell phone, uh, you know, I, a, a smartphone uh, video will work just fine if it's, uh, you know, decent lighting, etc. So try to get those from somebody when you've worked in their venue. That's a really important thing. And then you want to take the written versions of those and put them in your speaker one sheet. So I'm going to take a glass of water. You take your time. I'm just blown away by all the information you've already shared. Jackie, this is awesome. <laughs> now that you've had your sip of water, please continue. Thank you, Maxine. So the next thing, we're on to number eight, is a way for people to engage with you during and after the presentation. You know, one of the things is you're going to have a captive audience, and you don't want to get, let them get away from you because this is the perfect time to actually get their information, their phone numbers, their, um, their email addresses, uh, and their names, at the very least, so that you can get them into your community and continue a relationship with them. So there's a number of ways that you can actually do that. One of them, for example, is where you can actually um, offer a prize. Say, I'm going to give this away at the end of my presentation, so, um, or, you know, so please uh, go ahead and there's a basket going around, put your card in the basket, and then uh, I'm going to give it away to one person. Another way to do it is a lot of times people are doing programs where you can ask people to text to a certain number, and then um, you will send them, uh, as soon as they log in, some piece of information, vital information, that will help them grow and expand. So you're offering them a free item in exchange for them opting into your list. Now you have them on your list. And so you can get the whole audience at the same time when you do that. Um, and that's, a, that's a, you know, a little technological thing that you can set up through your phone company or your provider. Um, now, obviously, another thing is if they buy a book, you, you know, you want to make sure that you get their card when they buy, buy a book at the back of the room, because a lot of times they'll go into your, um, your, your, your uh, financial system, but without all their contact information. So you really, really want to get that from them when they engage with you, because you know that they're already interested in your material. And then, of course, the, one, the other way to get people, obviously, build that relationship is when actually they enroll in anything that you have at the back of the room. Now you've got a relationship with them, um, and you want to keep that. But here's the key thing. You want to have a plan for engagement before you ever get there. You don't want to just walk in 
and uh, say, oh, what am I going to do to get these people involved with me? So you really want to have it ready to go. So number nine, you want to have a convenient way to sell at the back of the room. Now, what happens at the end of a speech usually is that everybody wants to rush up and talk to the, to the speaker. Right. And if you have products to sell at the back of the room, <coughs> excuse me, then you're going to be tied up. And people aren't going to want to stand around and wait for it. So the good news is that technology has given us some really fast tools to do this. And um, you may be aware that there's a little um, new technology you can uh, attach to a cell phone um, and, it, 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 and produced by either the Square or PayPal, where you can actually just take a credit card by swiping it right there on site. That makes it really, really easy. But you may not be the best person to do that if you're talking to people. So you want to find out from the coordinator if either they have somebody on site who can handle sales for you or if you want to, you want to bring somebody to support you. You happen to have somebody in the community that can come and assist you or if you have somebody on your staff. So that when you're talking to people, they can be swiping. And the nice thing about the swipe system is you can hand it to somebody at the venue who may not be familiar with something very complicated. It is so simple, especially if you pre-put the pricing of your products and your bundles and your coaching programs in the, the cell phone. You just hand the cell phone, show them where it is, they click on it and swipe and you're done. And if there's taxes, you can also put pre-put the taxes in. So it makes it really simple. It's uncomplicated for them. Um, you make sure you get your sales uh, and that's a really wonderful thing. But here's one little other piece of information. Some people still like to do sales the old fashioned way. So bring a cash box. <laughs> People forget about that aspect, you know? Uh-huh. So definitely bring cash or bring a cash box so that can be done as well. So um, that's uh, really, uh, you know, uh, uh, important th things to consider. Now, here's one that's a little bit more intangible, and that's confidence. You know, a lot of times people are getting out of the stages for the first time and they're shaking in their boots. Well, here's the thing. Even if you aren't confident, act as if, because you want to make them out there in the audience feel like you're in the driver's seat and they should trust you and they should follow you. So you have to present, even if you don't feel confident, that you are confident, that you know, and, and remember the fact that you're really just, you're sharing with them. You're helping them. It's not from the standpoint of you're selling them. You are serving. Everything that comes out of your mouth is of value to them. So remember that. It's not that they're there to judge you. They're there because they're eager for your information. So make sure that you get on stage knowing that you're there to help and serve, and that should build your confidence. So that's a really important thing. Um, so here's another one. This is number 11. You want to have an honest self-evaluation if more training is needed. If you're really not there yet, you need to get a great speaker coach, get into a program where you have a, um, somebody who has traveled this path before and who can really guide you and hone your presentation, your stagecraft, your ability to, to enroll from the stage. There are wonderful people out there. And in fact, I have a page called, uh, it's called uh, conscious, www.consciousandtransformationalspeakers.com forward slash resources. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. HTTP colon uh, uh, backslash backslash consciousandtransformationalspeakers.com forward slash resources where you can find great speaker coaches that will help you get a, a more established on stage. But it really takes a self-evaluation to know that. And so the last thing that I want to talk about, number two, well, before I get there, I want to tell you that everything that I am telling you is actually available for you. You can actually go get a copy of this report to make it really easy on you at www.speakertunity.com forward slash free hyphen report. And again, it's www.speakertunity.com forward slash free 
hyphen report. So you can get your own copy of this and you can mull it over and use it and remember and, and remember what it is that you you know you need to do to get the, on stages effectively. So I'm now going to give you number 12, which is the finding your own tribe, how to actually get out there and get on stages. Now you can, you know, get out there and try to do this all of yourself. You know, you have to connect with the right bookers and, and find all the right opportunities for you, or you can let us help you. I have a service called Speakertunity, um, and you can go find it at, uh, at speakertunity.com. That actually is the transformational speaker leads tip sheet. We will we to provide 40 different tips a month in two separate e-tip e sheets where you can find transformational speaking engagements all across North America. And these include uh, Unity and Spiritual Living Centers and a, a new, uh, a re, uh, bookstores and um, uh, re, uh, re, uh, resorts and retreat centers and local chapters of all kinds of organizations, women's organizations, civic organizations, wellness organizations, um, uh, uh, chambers of commerce, holistic chambers of commerce, specialty groups, et cetera, et cetera. We also have events and conferences, everything from women's conferences to um, wellness to um, um, uh, aging to recovery, all kinds of different kinds of conferences. Um, and then we also have organizations that include associations like the National Association of Holistic Nurses or the National Autism Association. And we also provide an, various profiles of organizations and we can go here to find their local chapters wherever you may happen to be. We also feature occasional meetups that are great, exciting across the country. Now, in addition to that, we have a quarterly roundup on a particular market so that you can actually begin to plan a trip to that market. Now, even if you're an experienced speaker, you know, a lot of these things are speak to enroll and, and, and about, uh, you know, some of about uh, 20 or 35 percent of this is uh, speak to, you know, uh, is paid, but a lot of it speak to enroll. But even if you are a paid speaker, you might want to just get this to fill in around the edges when you're uh, when you're traveling and you've already got booked in some market and you want some more opportunities. And the last thing we have is a private Facebook group where I actually put in all the newest, coolest, hottest stuff where you can actually um, get go right there and submit when when I post it um, because th that's the that kind of stuff is pretty timely. Um, and so here's the really cool stuff. It's only $25 a month. We have priced it so that it's only four cups of Starbucks. <laughs> it's just affordable for anybody that's out there wanting to be a speaker and has a transformational message. And then when I say transformational, that could be anything that improves us and the planet or gives you a way to do a, a, a business that empowers you and to get the skills to engage with the with your clients and, and grow and be more of who you are. So, um, you know, it's a great way to get a jump start. It's easy for you. And all you have to do is go to speakertunity.com and hit the, um, the, red, the subscribe now button. So I invite people to take advantage of this. It's a really simple and wonderful resource. And we love to get speakers up there on stages because we know you're helping us change the world. You get to change more lives sell more books, and grow your business at the same time. Gosh, Jackie, I can't tell you how many times I am going to watch this and listen to it again. You have condensed years of work, brilliance, into a brief show chock full of information. Um, I'm sure that what you've triggered is not only interest, but questions. Um, and, and I do, in, in the just the few minutes that we have left, um, you raised a question. If Unity, for example, wants to hire you because you've spoken at another Unity church, but you have yet to speak at a Unity church, how do you break through that ceiling? Well, you start with your local unity and present them something that they can't resist. There you go. Wonderful. But getting get involved with the community is one of the ways. I mean, get to know the minister, get to, you know, go there, see what they actually present. That's a really good way to get involved um, and to open that door. I love it. I love it. Jackie, uh, thank you so, so much for being my guest today. You're sh this has been so informative. 
Um, I know people have written, I made notes while you were talking. I don't make notes when people, I have notes here. I'm going to watch this show uh, on video. I'm going to listen to it on audio. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I am going to be one of your subscribers. I think the service that you are offering our planet is incredible, incredible. And I know many of you are going to want to um, be part of Jackie Lappin's service. So, ah, again, a wonderful guest. And I hope that you'll join me again next time when I have another mover and shaker that is lifting our planet. Until then, remember, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Bye for now.